Okie doke. So let's get started creating our first quiz. Uh, as you notice, we're at docs.google.com. Uh, this is where we'll need to go in order to create any sort of uh, uh, Google Doc, obviously. Um, so we will start by creating our first quiz. So we'll start with this button here in the upper left-hand corner that says Create. When we click on this button, we will see multiple options. We have Document, Presentation, Spreadsheet, and Form. We're going to click on Form here to create our first quiz. So let's click on that. Once we've clicked on that, we will get to this page here. You notice it opened up in a new tab. In your browser, it might open up in a new window. Uh, but this is where we edit our uh, quiz. So we'll start out by uh, giving our quiz a name. So let's just do that. I'm going to create a generic quiz. So I'll say quiz for the name of our quiz. And we're going to create something that our, our students can fill out in class. So by default we see these two questions here, question one and question two. Now we can modify these as we want and I'll show you how. Let's change this question title to just question one. And what we're going to do is we're going to put together um, the first question will be a multiple choice question. There's different options here. Text, as you see, is this short answer. Paragraph text is a longer answer. And multiple choice lets us have different options like this. So we're going to do multiple choice here. Uh, and, um, and we'll add some options in. So since this is a, a generic quiz, I'm going to just put different letters here uh, that we'll use uh, in uh, either a PowerPoint slide or we'll put on the board in some way. So uh, I'll just say A, B, C, and D. And if I push enter there, each time I push enter or tab, it'll create a new option. So if I push enter now, say I can push, uh, it just generate this new text box. So it's very easy to put together a very short uh, multiple choice questionnaire. The other thing I'm going to do before I click done is I'm going to make this a required question because I want to make sure that uh, every question that I an ask is going to be something that uh, people want to answer. So I'll require it. I'll click done here and I'll generate our first question. So it's got uh, it's a multiple choice question with five options. All right, And then the second question, I'm going to edit this question. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this pencil looking icon so it says edit when I hover over it. When I click the pencil icon it lets me edit this thing. I'm going to change this to be question 2 and I want to change this from a text to a paragraph text so it's a longer freeform answer. I will make this a required question as well and click done. Alright now at this point you might think hey we're done but well, there's a problem. We still need to know who's actually submitting our answers. I, who's, we, we need to remember the name, of course, so uh, let's add that item in really quick. So if I click on Add Item, it's in the upper left-hand corner over here, I will get a drop-down of options. So here I want to ask a, a straight text question. So this is just a short text answer. So if I click on that, it'll bring me a new question. So I'm going to ask for the student, uh, student's name. And you could ask for the student's name, but um, uh, for our purposes, it's actually uh, a lot easier to ask for their email because uh, that's going to be pretty much uh, the same answer every single time. So I'm going to say email here. And I'll just say enter your student, or sorry, your school supplied email address. And I'll make this required as well. Now, I prefer asking for the name first. This is what we're kind of used to, having our name, putting our name at the top. So let's just do that. Uh, you can rearrange each of these questions around very easily. Um, as long as you see this, uh, so you notice my mouse cursor has this uh, sort of this crossbar looking thing. So this lets me, uh, I can move this around if I just click and drag. So I push the left uh, mouse button and I hold it down as I drag these things around so I can just move this to the top and now the email address is now at the top so we'll know what the student's email address is we'll have this, these uh, two questions here. Okay, so let's save this. We go in the upper right hand corner and click save. And so it's clicking, it's saving it at the moment so it takes a sweet time uh, but it shouldn't take too long. Oops, there was an error on saving. Try again? Okay, let's try again. Let's 
Uh, first time for everything. Okay, so now it works just fine. Okay. When we go back to the Google Docs tab, we should see quiz, and that's going to always appear at the top because this is the last thing we just worked on. So if I click over here on quiz, it will bring up a new tab that shows a spreadsheet of responses. Now, nobody has responded to this survey yet, so let's actually take a look what the survey looks like. If I click on form up over here and click on go to live form, which is over here, this is now what our students would see. Uh, now to fill this thing out, uh, in order to, like this is a generic quiz, so in order to fill this out we would need to, as I mentioned before, have some sort of list of answers and a, a question on the board uh, to go with this quiz. So let's just do this really quick. I'm going to put in my email address, I'm going to put in C as the answer because that's always the right answer, and I'm going to uh, fill in our free response question. I'll assume that the free response question is uh, what was this presentation about? So we learned how to build our very first quiz in this session. So I click submit and Google lets us know that our response has been recorded. As the teacher, as the professor, I can go into the quiz tab and now I see right away the very first response. As more people add responses in, we can go to a different area under form. It says, show a summary of responses. If I click on this uh, button here, it'll actually show all the responses as they trickle in, which is great uh, for getting feedback from students right away, kind of like a poor man's clicker. Anyway, so there you have it. We can create a simple form and get responses right away.